And uh, <laughs> here's a gentleman who says, I feel like I'll be paying off these student loans until the day I die. What a mistake. How can I get some relief? For a gentleman like this, I, 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 when I came out of law school, I had a massive amount of student loans. And really what you got to do is you can't stick your head in the sand. You've got to take these loans, look at them, examine them and say, okay, what's my game plan to pay this stuff back? You know, if you have a, a propensity and you want to work in a, you know, a job that's traditionally or historically low paying job, say, hey, I want to go into public service. You know, I'm going to make 15 or $20,000 a year for the rest of my life. I'm okay with that. I have no problem with that. But you got to get on a plan, an income-based repayment plan to pay back these student loans because you may be eligible for a discharge one day that you don't know about. And as long as you're just avoiding it and putting your head in the sand, you're not getting into the repayment plan. If you got a 25-year, if you're eligible for a 25-year repayment plan, you'd want to get in as soon as possible to get that 25-year mark as soon as possible. And this way, it's gone. The nightmare is over. And I know it's not 25 years sounds like a long time, but here's a guy who thinks that he's a young guy who thinks he's going to be stuck with him until the day he dies. That's not true. We can work around it, you know, unless he has an untimely death. I don't know. Anything can happen in my world. But, um, you know, what a mistake. I don't think education's a mistake. I believe a good education is kind of like the bedrock or the, the foundation of a productive society. In Florida, we've got the ability, and Florida residents, have the ability to go to school for a re substantially reduced amount of money. And I know it seems like education's expensive, but you, when you look at it, what would, what, what's the harm to having an educated population? The problem isn't with the ability to go to school. Florida's made it available for every, every resident to go to school. Even seniors go back to school to take a course here and there. I think that's fantastic. The problem is paying for the education. And if you're going to take out student loans, my opinion, I don't think the government should use this as a funding mechanism. I think they should make student loans available at a very, very, very low interest rate. There's got to be some repayment because we're borrowing the money to do it. So whatever we're borrowing the money to fund the Department of Education, then that should be the interest rate on student loans. The government shouldn't be able to charge 6 or 7% when they're borrowing the money for 3%. If you're borrowing it for 3%, pay it back at 3%. I don't think that's only fair or maybe a half a point higher to, so that the government can function because we, you know, we got to pay these people to work there. Of course, they are government employees, blah, blah, blah. We can go into a whole big thing on that. I'm not worried about that. What I'm saying is if we were going to offer student loans, let's make it fair to people. It's not fair that somebody comes out of law school and has to pay 9% and some people have to pay 2%. I don't get that. That just to me is silly and we're just playing games. If we want an educated society, we've got to make education available, we've got to make it affordable, and we've got to make sure there's a way to pay for it for those people who can't afford to pay for it on their own. If you can go to law school, if you can go to college, and somebody's going to pay for it for you, fantastic. Come out with no student loans. Good for you. If you have somebody who's going to have to borrow money, like I did, you have to come out, you're going to have to pay for it. I get that. But let's make the plan affordable so that that person can live and enjoy their life and have the ability to be a productive member of society without strangling them with student loans. The Department of Education has programs available for individuals. A lot of people don't know about them, so they don't take advantage of them. If you want a free consultation for student loans, call us, email us, 239-939-0900, questions at DuluthreeLawGroup.com, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, you can get in touch with us, and let's get an open dialogue about student loans.